All right, so in this video, we're going to look at how to set up Windows 10 so that it will share videos on your streaming uh, smart TV, like a Samsung or a Roku RCA TV. So uh, for whatever reason, a few months ago, the uh, Samsung TVs took an update and they no longer show the directories with any content for some reason. And uh, there's a solution to that. So we're going to go take a look on this computer here how to do it. So I have a, this is my server, has a lot of different hard drives in it. You have to pick which directory you want to show. Sorry, as the computer focuses here. Um, so we're going to go in here and uh, take a look at a hard drive I've got. So I'm going to go into one of my movie hard drives here and uh, movies watched. So I want to share this on the network so people can see it. So you're going to right click on this and go down to properties and uh, so it's 2.56 gigabytes and we are going to share this. So we're going to go click down here and go to everyone and click add. And you only want it to be read. You don't want someone to uh, connect to your network and uh, go and delete a bunch of stuff on you or modify it or do anything to it. So you're going to click read and then share. So now that directory is shared, that's uh, where you're going to find it. You could click on show me all network shares on this computer and you'll see that I've got four different directories that are shared right now. Another route to do that is uh, just right click on your Explorer, go to File Explorer, click on Network. Everything on the network is going to show up. Click on the desktop computer here and you get the uh, same thing. If you were to click on this directory here, you would get uh, a link that you could actually save this if you wanted to to make it quicker to bring that up. But anyway, so after you've done that, you're going to go back. In fact, I missed a step. So anyway, you're sharing. You're going to go to a network and sharing center. And uh, you, if you're on a public network, you don't want to share anything. You want to make sure you're on a private network, either you're plugged in with a hardwire or uh, the uh, type of network that you're on. is a uh, private network which I think you can set here somewhere yeah private you want that to be there if you're on public you don't want to share so uh, anyway I got sidetracked a bit so you're gonna go back to the private area with the arrow kind of pointing up you want this bullet highlighted here with that check mark turn on file and printer sharing then you're going to go to uh, all networks to have that up. You're going to turn off public file folder sharing. Media streaming we're going to get to in a minute. You want to use 128-bit encryption. You want to turn off password protected sharing. That is why you've got it read only. You don't want anyone to, that's on the network to mess around with it. it could be intentional or unintentional. And uh, you will find that these values when you do a big Windows update might change and your uh, video streaming stops working for some reason. So you have to come in here once in a while and fix this. Basically anytime you do a big update. So then you're going to go to media streaming. The first time you do this you're going to it'll ask if you want to turn it on and you're going to say yes. I've already done that. So you're going to click here and because uh, it's already on it shows you all of the devices on the network otherwise you would have just said yes and then you would have gotten to this screen eventually anyway so you want more than likely to turn this on to everybody unless you have someone with a a child's computer you don't want them to have access or what have you you might want to turn them off it's up to you to do that but anyway the only reason you open this display is to say yes to turning it on so now at this point you would click save changes but I've already done this previously so I don't need to so I'm going to press cancel 
And so you're going to think, ah, movies watched is now shared. But this is where you're going to find out that it's not. So we're going to switch this TV over to the uh, desktop. Like obviously everything needs to be on the same network. And uh, you'd have to watch another video to figure out how to set all these things up. So you're going to meander through the uh, directories here with the remote. Sorry that this is uh, focusing is doing what it's doing. It's kind of uh, distracting. It does that when the uh, screen is kind of blank. So you're going to go to folders. So you've got movies, videos, and TV shows. The one I just added is not here, which is kind of annoying. So you can go into TV shows, you can, just for completeness, so you can open up 7th Heaven here, turn on an episode. You see me, hello. So it works. Although I don't hear any audio, which is kind of funny. That's no, because it's my receiver's not turned on. All right, so that's something separate. All right, so now we're going to go home. And we are going to go back to HDMI. Which is the computer. So, this is what's changed in the last patch on uh, Windows 10, or not, sorry, on the uh, Samsung TVs. So you're going to right click on this directory that we just shared and we are going to do a include in library you're going to work your way over to the right and if it's uh, videos you're going to share it on videos. So now you'll see that it is here. You have TV shows, movies and movies watched and then videos which is part of videos. And this is uh, relatively instant so we're going to go back, go to the uh, machine here, work our way back up in the folder structure. So movies watched will be here, we are hoping, yes. So previously you would go into these directories and they would just be found empty. So there's like probably 500 movies in this directory, so it's going to take a second to load up. I would recommend you do this on a uh, 5 gigahertz network connection. The server right now is on 2.4 gigahertz, so realistically it's not going to have enough bandwidth to uh, watch a full movie for uh, two hours. It may clunk out a couple times, so I'd recommend you use a good 5 gigahertz network to do this. So put on 1984 from Movies Watched and you can see that this is working and it was quite quick. So now I'm going to turn this off and I am going to go over to the Roku TV and the last time I tried to do this it crashed my server which is kind of weird. So once this uh, is done updating here it's just uh, re-downloading uh, directory structure we will uh, turn off the video and move on to the next uh, TV. And here we are. Alright, so happy Halloween. The Roku TV's got a, a patch on it right now for the skin, so it is a Halloween kind of channel. So, when you start at home, you will need to set up your uh, Roku so it can actually download videos off the network to watch them. So you're going to go down to streaming channels and then go right and it went double. So now go down to uh, free movies and TV. You need to install the Roku media player. It's not going to work like the Samsung automatically for whatever reason. So you open the Roku media player after you've installed it and it is not working very well with that computer for some reason. It is stuck. So when that happens, you will go do the back button because return doesn't always work. So 
But it's going to try to connect to something different. All right, so this is the kind of thing that you should be seeing. Videos. There's nothing in this. So that's the problem. That computer has quite a bit on it, but it's not set up correctly. So I'm going to try to go back into here, and it worked. All right. So if you get that circle thing going around a lot, just connect to something else on your network or unplug the TV or something. It's uh, a bit of a hassle. So we're going to go into videos and we're going to go into folders. We're going to go into TV shows. First, we can go into 7th Heaven. And I think it was season one that we looked at. So you can see it's 44 minutes, it's an MPEG, it gives you the resolution, stuff like that. We're going to hit play, and the, the camera is trying to focus on something. And this is where things kind of go poorly. So in theory this should work, I have not had it work successfully. So I don't know what the deal is, but uh, this is as far as I can get it with the Roku TV. So there's more about the Samsung I want to show you how to get things displaying properly. Although maybe it is going to work. I tried to do this uh, with a big movie and it didn't work. That's why we're trying to bring up a TV show. You can see how long this takes compared to the Samsung. So if anything, I would say this RCA TV is not really what you want to buy. I'd buy a Samsung Smart TV for before I bought an RCA. So we'll just let this uh, film here for a little bit and see what happens. Hopefully something happens. I'm just going to go take a look at the server and make sure that it hasn't gotten crashed by this. Yeah, so for some reason the uh, server crashes when you go to do this, uh, the mouse freezes up and uh, it's just stuck. So uh, sorry about this part of the video, but uh, thank you for watching.